Top 5 Bands Richie Blackmore Called His Favorites of All Time Richie Blackmore, celebrated for his powerful work with Deep Purple and Rainbow, is also famous for openly sharing his views on other musicians. Known for creating memorable guitar riffs and blending classical and blues-based solos, Blackmore's influence is huge. After the release of the 1970 album Deep Purple in Rock they changed their songwriting, shaping their sound to a hard rock approach. He is prolific in creating guitar riffs and has been known for playing both classically influenced and blues-based solos. But which bands made the biggest impression on him? Richie Blackmore always gave his opinion on bands and artists, even if he doesn't like them. Over the decades he talked about many musicians, including the band that is considered the best of all time. Here are five bands Richie Blackmore called his favorite of all time. Vanilla Fudge. Vanilla Fudge, an American band officially formed in 1967, has had periods of reunions and breakups over the years. The group was one of Richie Blackmore's all-time favorites. Richie looked up to was Vanilla Fudge. Known for their heavy, psychedelic sound and unique reworkings of popular songs, they had a big impact on Deep Purple's early sound. In a 1991 interview with Guitar World, Blackmore reflected on his admiration for Vanilla Fudge, recalling, I met him in a transvestite bar in 68, in Hamburg, Germany. Back in the late 60s, there were few organists who could play like John. We shared the same taste in music. We loved Vanilla Fudge, they were our heroes. ABBA. One band Blackmore praised that might surprise people is ABBA. He admired their mastery of melody and simplicity, calling their songs fantastic and admitting that, although some might find it uncool, they're likely his favorite band. One of the main reasons Richie Blackmore admired ABBA was their incredible mastery of melody. Known for creating some of the most memorable tunes in pop history, ABBA's music had a simplicity and catchiness that captured listeners. I think ABBA was the best band. I always listened to ABBA when I was a kid. It was so melodic, and it just worked. It was fantastic. And they are probably my favorite band of all time. And I know it's uncool to say that in certain areas. And they were wonderful. The Yardbirds. The Yardbirds were like the holy grail of rock guitarists in the 60s, featuring guitar legends Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, and Jimmy Page. Their experimental blues rock sound was a breeding ground for new styles and techniques. The Yardbirds are a band that Richie greatly admired, especially for their groundbreaking blues rock style. They pushed rock music forward with an experimental edge that influenced many, including Blackmore. The Yardbirds were way ahead of all the other bands. They were fantastic. The Beatles. The Fab Four influenced almost every musician who emerged in the 60s, and Blackmore was no exception. He admired their groundbreaking approach to songwriting and studio innovation, with albums like Revolver and Sgt. Pepper's pushing boundaries and reimagining what rock music could be. During a 1976 interview, Blackmore shared that he thought the Beatles were probably the best band ever. He admired their creativity and praised Paul McCartney as the greatest composer of the century. Jethro Tull. Richie Blackmore was already a fan of the British group. Known for their unique blend of progressive rock with folk influences, led by Ian Anderson's charismatic stage presence and innovative flute playing, they brought a medieval feel that resonated deeply with Blackmore. They were two great musicians and had a friendship of many years. When asked which were the artists that he admired the most at the time, he said, I admire Paul McCartney and Ian Anderson. Especially Ian Anderson, his songs are just beyond me. They're beyond the public, by the way he sells to them. If you lived in America you would be surprised because he draws as many, people, as Led Zeppelin and all the rest. An excellent artist on stage in every way. But his writing is something that never ceases to amaze me, brilliant. I'd love to be in that way that he can put across a melody. I just write riffs and chord progressions. But I'm working on it, Blackmore said. 